Island folk. I've been up for a few hours working on, um, let's see, I was separating the sleeves and the body for my Love Note sweater, so now it's just in the round stockinette. So I get to take that with me and work on that. Um, I picked out my outfit. <laughs> Uh, I put in hair extensions because I thought it would be kind of fun. My husband, a couple weeks ago, when we were talking about why everybody gets so fixated on what to wear to Rhinebeck, he put it best, I think. He said that Rhinebeck weekend is like Comic-Con for knitters, and so, yeah, it makes sense. So I'm going all out. <laughs> so we are going to be leaving in about an hour. We're going to get there super early to make sure we have somewhere to park, and then we'll just spend some time walking around the town. It is supposed to rain today around 1, so we'll bring an umbrella and I'll bring a raincoat. I'm hoping it holds out for a while, especially for the vendors. I know what that's like to have a booth set up and for it to tumultuously rain. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen for mostly their sake. That's a big deal. Um, although the videos I've seen, it looks like they have tents, but still, it's no fun to have a rainy yarn booth. Um, so yeah, my daughter just woke up. I'm going to make sure she's ready to go and my husband's getting ready. I'm ready, <laughs> of course. I'm excited. Could hardly sleep. So yeah, that's where I'm at. I, I decided to wear my La Prairie today. I think it was a good choice. Um, the outfit that I showed yesterday I think is really autumnal and perfect for the Dutchess County Fairgrounds. I think it will be a beautiful outfit for that setting, so I'm going to save that for tomorrow. Although this is pretty spectacular. This would have been a good standout Rhinebeck sweater too, but I'll enjoy it today. Oh yeah, I also decided to put in my bow that I knit, so I have multiple pieces of knitwear on, so I can show it. silly about this but this is the sweater my husband is wearing today and I still haven't woven in the ends I'm about to do that right now before we go probably make my daughter some breakfast and then get started I think I've woven in some of them there's definitely this one and then I think there's a few on the inside that need to be woven in so I feel so silly that I haven't done that yet but I'm excited for him to wear this he's never gotten to wear this before sure to pack my beautiful love note sweater. This is going to be the perfect stockinette in the round knitting for hanging out with knitting friends. I have the most delicious breakfast of toast with cashew butter and bananas and cinnamon and honey. My whole little family is wearing hand knits.
higher. Oh, yes. I thought you were going to think I was talking to you. We're back home, quote unquote, and my daughter's sleeping, so I'm going to try to keep my voice down. Hopefully the microphone picks me up well enough. I look a lot different than I did this morning for woolen folk, but after today's events, I wanted to be as comfortable as possible. So, wow. Um, woolen folk was... Woolen folk? <laughs> One folk was um, pretty, I hate to say it, but it was a letdown. It could have been such a fun and spectacular event, even despite the rain. So it rained the whole time we were there. Um, and we actually were fortunate to be the first people let into the event because we got there really early and um, we got a great parking spot. So that was nice. I, I know I've been mentioning I was worried about that. But so we've waited in line for about two hours with my daughter and she was really good the whole time. She only kind of got fussy a handful of times and thankfully there were some sweet ladies in front of us who were playing with her and she had a great time with them. But because we had a stroller and a baby, they were very sweet and let us in first. And we were very, very close to the front so it wasn't like a big difference, but they let us into the event and I went straight to find the Doodle Bar, which is the Fangirl Fibers, Yarnaceous Fibers, and um, Pacific Nitco collaboration. And it was beautiful. Um, the best booth there, honestly. They were so well set up, and it, it's just such a unique concept. Um, yeah, I loved it a lot. I got to show Jamie Lomax, who is Pacific Nitco, the designer. I got to show her my Rhinebeck Doodle Cow test it in person, which was fun. Um, I got to say hi to Maggie and then uh, Emily of Fangirl Fibers. Maggie's from Yarnaceous. And yeah, that part was really fun. But then everybody started to come in. And I realized how many people were there. So unfortunately, this event may be way oversold tickets. It was overbooked. So we ended up staying for about two hours. And then for my baby's sake, and for my husband's sake, we went ahead and left, which was completely fine. Um, I got to see pretty much everything, but I only made one purchase, and that was from The Wandering Flock. I, I knew that I probably, if I was going to exert the energy to purchase from anybody, though that would be them, and I knew what color, colorway I wanted, and I got it, so that was amazing. Um, the only thing I didn't get that I really wanted was some yarn from Le Garçon, but that's okay. And we have two more days of uh, Brian Beck, you know, the New York Sheep and Wolf Festival to look forward to, so there's plenty more yarn and a lot more <laughs> space. And I'm hoping it doesn't rain tomorrow. I think it might. Hopefully not as tumultuous as it was today. Sunday, I don't think it's supposed to rain, so that might be our nice and easy going day. But I didn't record any footage today. I, I got maybe five seconds, but I was holding my daughter and it just didn't work out. And I'm sure that anybody who was planning on it really didn't because the rain was really bad. And, and again, the amount of people there, it was very uncomfortable. So I'm, I'm sad to say, but we will never <laughs> go to Wool and Folk again. I think if they had done time slots, staggered entries and like shopping windows, it would have worked perfectly. Like India Untangled, that's what they do. And they, they do like four or so, four or five designated time slots and you pay for the time slots. So if you want to go in first, you're going to pay a little bit more and of course it's going to trickle down. So anyway, I think that they should do something like that. Um, but I did see a lot of people that I've been wanting to see. So that was nice. I guess I'll show you guys the yarn that I got and um, I'm going to just look forward to New York Sheep and Wool tomorrow. Thank 
here's the bag that the wandering flock gave me. It's really cute. This will be a nice little project bag. And in here I have four skeins of this gorgeous colorway. This was their, I think, like their anniversary colorway. I really wanted to buy some when they released, when they first released it a couple of weeks ago, but I knew that I would see them in person and so I planned on picking some up today and I have a pattern picked out for this. Um, I'm going to knit Neon Nectar, which is the newest design by Woolen Pine Designs. And I think this yarn is going to be stunning for that pattern. So this is the 100% Superwash Extra Fine Merino. It's the DK weight and it's extremely soft. And the color is hundreds and thousands, which Geraldine of the Wandering Flock says means uh, like sprinkles in Australia. So the color in here is a little bit, it's changing this a little bit, but the base is kind of this peachy pink, like a dusty pinky peach with these speckles of lots of different rainbow colors. They got them down perfectly. So this is going to be a beautiful neon nectar. And I'll, I'll link that pattern down below in the description. I'm going to cast this on pretty much right away after I do my uh, test knit that I just got accepted for. So I got four skeins for my size, which would be a small or a size two or three, whichever is the small in the pattern. But it's beautiful. So this was worth the, uh, <laughs> this was worth the adventure today. I just noticed there's holographic stickers in here and it's sweaters that say the wandering flock. That's so cute. Where's Zara? Where is she? <laughs> Where's Ara? Where's Ara? <laughs> Where is she? I love you. I feel like it's kind of funny to be wearing such a plain gray hoodie after wearing such a vibrant and extra outfit today. But when we got back, I needed maximum comfort. So I asked my husband if I could borrow one of his hoodies. My daughter's climbing up there to be with me right now. I'm in the process of editing today's short vlog and um yeah it's <laughs> watching the footage back we definitely had a fun day we got to explore um Socrates, which is a city I love we went to we went for lunch there at Rock de Cosba which is where we ate two years ago they have a lot of good vegan options and it's just a fun little place. Um, we also went to a bookstore that's over there. We got to look around there for a while. And of course, everywhere you go, you go there was groups of knitters, which was so fun. Um, what else? Yeah, but, but Woolen Folk itself, we only stayed for about two hours, which, you know, is, is pretty disappointing. I, I really was looking forward to the event today. They certainly paid enough to be there. Um, yeah. No big deal. It's fine. Yeah, no big deal. No big deal. <laughs> my daughter's shaking her head at me while I shake my head. She likes to emulate me. I just realized my phone might be over the microphone. I'm so tired. I really think tomorrow will be more special, though. And we have... Um, dinner plans now with Brooke of Benny Knits and her husband and Jenny and yeah it's just going to be a great day tomorrow all around tomorrow is going to be like the day we've all been waiting for <laughs> um oh you copying me so I, I hope today's video wasn't really a letdown Today's day was a little bit of a letdown for me, so I just didn't really have much to share, but I think that will change tomorrow. Ah! <laughs> 
so I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish editing today's video and knit a little bit, and then hopefully there will be plenty more to come tomorrow. So good night. I can't believe I've I've been making these videos for 21 days in a row. It's like becoming this. It's a routine at this point, so it's no big deal. But I am a little bit tired, <laughs> but I'm still enjoying it. So anyway, thanks for tuning in today. We will see you tomorrow.